Uh, hey folks, uh, welcome back to the second part of Dusk Vol Circulation War, uh, episode three. We are right in the middle of uh, downtime at the moment, and we have seen um, we have seen one downtime action from everyone, and uh, we will come back into uh, downtime facing Kane. Uh, Kane, because. We saw the beginning of Kane's uh, second downtime action, which was a, um, uh, which was a indulge vice. But we do not yet know how that is going to screw over the lives of uh, Kane and everyone Kane loves. <laughs> so, oh, Kane, always getting himself in trouble. Always <laughs> getting himself in trouble. Uh, so, have you have you decided? Um, um, yeah. What horror. So I'm thinking, I'm not sure where you want to go, like where you're going with this tapped out. Um, mm -hmm. But I think it's interesting enough to explore, um, especially because if it has an effect that I think could be likely, it'll interact with Nyrex as well. So I'm going to go with the tapped out and see what the ideas that you have for okay. this limitation. Yeah. So again, this is your character. So feel free to stop me if any part of this is... Um, mm -hmm is not how you want your character's story to go. Um, but what I was envisioning is um, we see we see Kane in this this bathtub um, uh, fully clothed in your your whisper gear um, sitting in this like awful dank stale black water. Um, and uh, surrounded by all of these vials of, of electroplasm which are glowing and um, giving this like soft awful pale blue light um, to the room we see the wall covered with runes um, and um, the the shot is like really close up to the bathtub um, with the bathtub taking like half of the um, half of the the screen space and like the above with with Kane like sort of coiled over in there um trying to force their will upon these small little echoes held inside the um the pieces like the in, inside the vials um and we see uh the lighting like the the camera starts slowly panning back or pulling back from the that shot to take more and more of the scene in and um, the lighting in the room, which is this like, you know, soft, slowly fluctuating blue flickers suddenly and then like violently changes to this like that light reflecting off the surface of the water kind of uh, rippling, dancing uh, blue green light over all surfaces as if you're sort of like in 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 the air but you're seeing the 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 surface of the water in all directions um and that that shocks over everywhere and we see standing next to the um standing next to the bathtub just sort of like still there kind of doing that like idle animation but moving a little bit too quickly like as if they're standing there idling doing nothing um, but sped up to like three or four times the normal speed. So just kind of like they're like jittering on the spot. Um, is a figure in one of those old um, diving suits, like with the big diving cage over their head, um, and you know one of those windows there, uh, and the the cage um, cages on either side, and um, they're they're wearing this like. Um, filthy, like the, the diving suit is absolutely filthy, like covered in, in grime and muck and black stains like seeping from all of the um, all of the joins um, and um, Kane's attention is like, you know what what does Kane do when, when they uh, notice that this thing is with them and has like manifested um in the room Sure. Okay. So Kane has to be very careful because if they if they break concentration um, for too for too much, um, the vector bios can like literally split and they can go free and that would cause a chaos. But it, but it's definitely shaking Kane. 
So you're seeing, you're seeing like Kane hands out, eyes turned, and their face is just completely pale. Like more than the light has already given them paled. And they're just like, like wanting to do something about this figure in the room, mm. but very uply aware that the minute they move, all hell breaks loose. So there's this tension between trying not to do too much, but being very, very afraid of the figure that's in the room. Okay. That they did not expect. Yeah. So um, the the figure seems to notice you and its its head tilts over to you and we can't see anything beyond like the grimy mask um like the the grimy sort of window in the front of this diving suit um and it it just sort of like is suddenly next to you kneeling down like hand draping in the water in the black water um of the the bathtub and their other hand clutching the side of the the bath um and where their their hand is like clutching the bath like more and more chips are falling out of the the porcelain of the like the, this old gross bathtub um and the hands just like moving back and forth through the water as if they're like feeling the water but you know they can't be because they're wearing this um this diving suit right um and they they seem to like one of the vials of of electroplasm next to them seems to like resonate with them and you see the the figure touch the uh the vial and makes like proper contact with it like you know these ghosts can interact with the world but it's very violent right like the where the porcelain is breaking it's just sort of like chipping off it's not breaking as if someone's gripping it it's just like breaking apart and falling apart but they gingerly pick up the vial of uh electroplasm and bring it up to their face and there's no like there's nothing going wrong with the vial they don't seem to be exerting an unearthly influence on this they're just someone picking up the the vial and you see them shift over to you and then crush the vial in their hand and in that same movement there the hand that's draping in the the black water lurches out and grabs you around the neck and um and <laughs> squeezes Kane's neck until they they black out um and if you're Fuck okay with it sorry <laughs> I fucked with his crew, man. <laughs> Perhaps. That's what it feels um, like. That's what it feels like. So, <sighs> when when you come to, your vials are all still there, but they're empty. The the vials of like the these vials of uh, electroplasm are empty, and right. you now need to find a new source for um for your electroplasm and mm -hmm. you feel an uneasiness in your heart that if you attempt to to do this sort of channeling again unguided it's it's going to be so much worse next time like you feel like you got off easy here um yeah can i also suggest sure. that although like ghosts are supposed to leave a violent mark I would like there to be this really unsettling black scar that's kind of looks like someone's it kind of looks like someone's got black paint and kind of gone across my neck but it's also very very textually unsettling and it's gone all across my neck as if that's where he's giving me the chokehold and that's what I'm yeah, working with. Yeah, I like it. I like it. So it's like a very physical reminder like that unease is now matched with this scar that I got off easy and this was the only thing that I have for it. I like it. That's that's super, like, that, that's a creepy mark left. Uh, I, yeah. Yes, and I would like it to have the same kind of texture as the runes on my wall. Oh, yeah, 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 so perfect. So it looks charcoal yeah. and it looks really kind of, like, brutally. I, I like to think, like, Kane doesn't know this in the shot, um, and, and no one, no one, like, in setting knows this, but, like, we as as players know that the charcoal you used was like just some you found a burnt 
um, piece mm-hmm. from from like a ship's hull. Um, maybe maybe yes. even some that like Stavril brought back, right? Like when they were when they were scrounging through like some some bits of ships. Like they brought back mm-hmm. some some charcoal, and that's what yep. you've used here. Um, yep. Yeah, I, I want to know more about this ghost. <laughs> um, or, awesome, okay. Stafford wants to know more about this ghost. Um, we all want to know more about this ghost. Uh, all right. Cool. All right, so we're going we're gonna to find out more about that later. Um, so that's, that's both of Kane's... Um, both of Kane's downtime actions done. Make sure you clear your stress, Kane, because uh, you definitely earned having yeah. zero stress um and uh who who is who would like to take their second um downtime action uh, i think you muted melody yeah, well, yeah cool <laughs> uh, i'm ha- i'm happy to go next i'm just i'm not super sh- like my usual instinct is to do like a long-term clock or asset or something, but I'm not super sure what at the moment. So I might just train. Okay. Um, Cause yeah, I'm just, I'm not sure what would benefit us yet. Like we've got our yeah. foot in the door, but I don't know where we're going to go next. So at the moment I might just train resolve. Okay, cool. Um, which I mean, I think, what would that involve? Is that like, is that like reading like literature, you know, like reading theory and stuff and like um, both, both like becoming more, you know, theoretically sophisticated, but also like being reinvigorated and like, you know, mm. um, reaffirmed that we're doing the right thing and that kind of stuff. Mm. Okay. Okay, so is is this like taking place in the lair, or are you you doing this elsewhere? Yeah, I think it's in the lair. I think like when people see um, Sabine around the lair for the next little while, she's like, um, kind of like, uh, almost like squeezed into like you know a small uncomfortable space, but like still sprawling a bit, but just like not. It doesn't look like it'd be a comfortable way to sit, but she's just like kind of like balled up in a hole of the wall or something and like reading cool I like um it. and you know if anyone tries to talk to it, like mm, mm-hmm, mm, yep mm. cool <laughs> awesome so you, you get two xp for that um because Yay. it's the the trained one uh the yeah upgraded one um mm-hmm. awesome okay uh brandon or lavender do you know uh, maybe Brandon, because um, you're coming in with a different character. Do you want to do? Do you want to do yours first or last because of that? Like, um, the answer to that question is with another question. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Lavender is Stavril coming back to delay? Uh, yeah, I can't see why they wouldn't. Like, whenever you're then, coming back, I can't imagine like that Stavro would suddenly not have responsibilities with, like, keeping up with writing to attend to or something. Then you should go first. <laughs> um, okay, this might not be a downtime action, but it might be, um... I want to say that I am... Because mostly I just want to set up for what you want to do. So I want to say that um, I am starting rough drafts for whatever we're going to print next. And however that funnels into mechanics is good. Like maybe there's a fortune roll to see um, what this rough draft has left to do with it, if it needs to be scrapped. Maybe that's a thing, but otherwise, yeah. Mm. That is just a thing I said. And then that's what I'm doing can, at the layer. Wait, a question. Mm-hmm. Um, can you pass a long-term project that you've started to someone else? Yeah. Yeah, I don't see why not. Uh, oh, I think we lost Melody's camera. No. Mm-hmm. 
Am I still here? Uh, you are, but now you are yep. on your your picture thing. Uh, oh wait, here you go. Okay, you're back. Hello. I don't, I don't know, know what um, um, I think anyone can contribute unless it's like a secret thing or something. Yep. I mean, it isn't. All of us kind of already agreed when mm. we started that we were going to take down Master Slain. Yeah. Yeah. True. yeah. I think so. So you could like yeah. see the, the the pile of notes and decide at any point. Yeah, let's figure out what we do with this. Uh, and because I feel like our next, because I do feel like our next goal should be at some point actually trying to get some dirt on Master Slain. Mm, I guess and sure. try to see what that might be in those notes. Um, cool. Do you have your your? Um, we I guess we should make this. Um, we should actually make this like a proper clock now. Um, if, if we're going to have people like working on it and stuff like that. Um, so what is, what's, what's the, what is the clock? Like, what, what do you actually want to, to get out of this? Um, I think what we, well, do, what do we want in the long term or the short term? Uh, well, we'll, we'll call it a, tell me what you want. And then I will I will tell you how many um, ticks that is, and if it seems too long, we can like cut it down into a smaller chunk, or um, yeah, like if it's just a simple like get dirt on Master Slain, um, that's probably that's probably not too bad. But if you want to be like you know, um, like get Master Slain like you know thrown out of their position are like disgraced completely that'll be a bit bigger right so um so you you tell me what your like what the intent behind this whole thing is and then um then we'll figure out how many ticks are in the clock well uh seneca's intent before she passed out <laughs> was uh, she knew initially that it would be a good idea for the newspaper to have uh running expose on master slate because she already went into this assuming that there would be loads of dirt and not one or two news pieces was going to cover all of the um cruel shit that he's probably up to mm. and that she wants to get she wants to get down to as much of it as possible um so even if even if the blue coats don't actually intervene at least his reputation in his space will uh, change the, the, so much for the worse that like people won't trust him again, and that will empower the people in um, the people who have been working for him or the people in his area to um, take control of their own situation and uh, uh, deal with masses. And however, however they see fit, if the, even if the blue coats won't help them. Okay. But she knows okay. that that's not she knows that that's not as simple as one or two stories. So she's prepared to see like how much dirt she can get immediately, but beyond that she's dedicated to getting as much info as possible writing as many stories as possible. Sure. And all of that sure. is in her notes, like all of the all of the hunches that she has of what kind of sick shit is going on in Coleridge that must <laughs> be tied to Master Slain. Okay. So I can see this going in two ways. Um, and this, this really depends on how you want this to come into the fiction. The first way is that it's a really short clock, right? It's a four tick clock, um, which is basically get dirt on slain. But then we have a second clock, which is like um, a mass enough of a expose that you can actually like deal with him, right? And how we will basically do that is every time you fill up the four clock, we will tick up that larger clock and then that four clock will give you like a mechanical shift in the narrative some new thing will come to light and then we maybe we can like build off the fiction from there um or we can have one big clock uh probably a 12 tick clock which is just sort of like we we know that in the background you are working on this expose uh, and you are releasing like articles about it, but it won't actually come into like any on-screen proper effect until the whole clock is filled. Mm -hmm. How would you prefer to do it? Uh, 
I'm inclined to the first one, but at this point, it's a group uh, thing, so I want to know what everybody else thinks about that. Because S- Tavril is going to look at those notes now. So which one specifically was the first one? Uh... That's um, several four clocks, which mm. will incrementally build up Different to... Components. Yeah, and, and each one will like shift the narrative forward a little bit more and, uh... and bring in more leads. That's and, how... Um, yeah, that sounds cool to me, and also like uh, a bit more concrete in terms of like it'll be clearer what we should do at each point. Yeah, which I think is always yeah. Helpful. Sure, I, yeah. I think that um, would be more fun just in terms of like uh, rolling the narrative generally forward. Yeah. yeah. Um, exactly. Also, can I just ask though, whatever this ends up being, can we have a name for? this regular column or something that's like Slane's Pain or something, something like a, <laughs> you know, a pun name or something. Slane's oh. Pain is fine. That one's great. Let's go with that. Good Lord. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, if, if that's what we're doing, uh, I guess I made my bed. Um, uh, <laughs> um, uh, all right. So this, this master clock, we will call it Slane's Pain. Um, <laughs> and and we will set that one down. So uh, you'll see on the the um, on the main screen the what what did I call it the play table um, that there is now a secondary clock down there. Um, and the first oh, cool. clock we will we'll just call this um, dig uh, dig up dirt. Um, mm. And so every time dig up dirt fills, we will tick forward Slane's pain. Uh, and then Slane's pain is a four tick clock as well. Um, mm-hmm. So, yeah. Uh, which technically means that there are more ticks in this method of doing it, but each individual tick on Slane's pain will give you more to work from. So um, mm. I think that that sort of balances out. Um, Sounds great. Uh, cool. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And we so. could also like push. Could, we could also move the clock forward, not just by doing downtime actions, but by taking jobs and stuff. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah. Or if cool. we we say that like during a job, some dirt happens oh, to, yeah, to nice. manifest, yeah, we can just go. I think that that counts as a tick. Yeah. Sure. And Sounds just to be clarified, yeah. is there anything else about clocks that we're missing so that we get the kind of audience clued in about how they work? Oh, um, so so clocks, uh, long-term projects, um, essentially how it works is they have four, six, eight, or 12 ticks, um, and ticks look like this uh, when they go up. So um, for instance, you should now see Dig Up Dirt has two segments filled, right? Um, and so what that means is that when you do actions that would contribute to them, they go up, and then when a clock is full, uh, it empties, and in this case, we'll fill up. We'll start to fill up a different clock, right? So when this clock yeah. fills, it will fill up one in uh, Slane's Pain, and then Dig Up Dirt will reset to zero. Uh, that is called a linked clock in this in this case. Um, yeah, and they can um, they can be for really anything. Like in this case, it's very much like a, an active thing. Someone is doing something to fill up the clock. But you know, you can have clocks yeah. for for anything in the game. Um, cool, 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 awesome. Okay, so are you working towards that, uh, Stavril? Is that what um, you want to be like working uh, on that uh, long term project in the the lair? Stavril. Oh, sorry. So I was good. trying to figure out who you were talking to. Right. Um, <laughs> no worries. Yeah, I think. Um. Yeah, I think I want to. Um. I should probably go. To. Duskwall Academy and try to do some research. Um, okay. Because you're like technically a student, right? Well, you're like yeah. a yeah. tutor, right? Or yep, yeah. I'm a tutor, former student. Yeah, got to show yeah. up occasionally. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Cool. Um, yep. I 
So um, what does the inside of like the library here look like or wherever you're doing your study? Um, well, Duskwall Academy is in White Crown, mm. so which is the number one richest district in Duskwall, and it's on this island that's separate from like the other like islands of Duskwall that have like bridges connecting each other and stuff. And there's just this huge grand bridge way across like a huge channel that leads you from Brightstone to White Crown. And I think we see Stavrul taking a carriage across that bridge, going through several checkpoints, flashing like um, student documentation and stuff. Mm. And um, I think Stavrul isn't technically like permitted to access the library because they're not a student anymore. Oh, okay. Like they've, they're not currently pursuing further education. They just used to receive education from here. So mm -hmm. um, probably to keep scoundrels out, they have a system in place where you have to like be a present student in order to uh, use the library or like other like school facilities okay mm -hmm. so uh, uh yeah so what do we see we're then do anyway is we're just going to uh scheme our way in okay cool um how am i stopped or checked from entering the library Ah, uh, hmm. So White Crown is like a um, White Crown is a very low crime district because it's so wealthy. Um, so I don't think that there would be any kind of like it's definitely not a blue coat thing, right? Um, especially not in in the academy. Um, I think how you're stopped isn't so much that someone comes up and says don't go in there. Um, it's more a matter of like you get stopped by. Um, by a professor who's like striding past um and uh they like do a little bit of a double take um and then turn back to and and it's this um very pale um old akarosi man um uh i'm like i'm imagining like a little bit of uh you know like the 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 marble statues of um julius caesar but this dude's clearly past his prime, right? Like he's he in his youth he would have been like the the absolute pinnacle of highbrow, um, highbrow Akarosi society, uh, or at least the pinnacle of what highbrow Akarosi society is supposed to look like. Um, and uh, now he's you know uh, gone the way of age, right? Um, and he he adjusts his his glasses on his nose. Uh, and, and looks down at you, um, and then says, um, uh, probably just talks to you in your, in terms of, like, last names, and says, Maha, weren't you supposed to be taking one of my classes this semester? I haven't seen you for some time. What are you doing here and not... And they like take out uh, a little pocket watch and flick it open and then close it and look back up at you. Why are you not in class? Hmm. <laughs> what should I say? Hmm. Bam. <laughs> Anyone got an idea? Um, I mean, you could like just like call him out and be like, "Your class is shit." I've been like avoiding it, um, and like put him on the back foot, like freak him out. Yeah, because um, your like, class you know, sucks, old man. Like, like, uh, <laughs> yeah, like, you, know, you, <laughs> you could be like, I just like you know, I, you could say that and be like, independent research is so much better. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, you're, like, you're you know, take... I can't send 
Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, you got you got it. That's okay. I was just like, it's just like screw your class. I can learn more in, in independent research. You know, I'm already a good student. It's you're not you're not up to scratch. Nice. <laughs> your, your take on your take on arbitrage is is backwards and reactionary. Um, you should mm. you shouldn't even have tenure, you old fogey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think that's good also um i just looked at my character sheet and i have a close friend who is riven a chemist oh nice so mm. i can maybe spin this as um Sick life. <laughs> i've instead of like um so like maybe the the reason why this person recognizes me is because they literally like consulted with me to create my syllabus yeah, for this yeah. academy. They're yeah. like the person who does that. Um, and of course it's like individual for each student so it's like you know how like if you get like a master's degree you have to like put in your like statement of intent for like why you're going to this college to pursue further mm. education. I imagine yeah. Dust Ball Academy is like that for every step of the way, times a thousand, yeah. and then it's like highly personalized it. education, and it's mm. like everything is made up on the fly based on like, oh, you're pursuing these things, then you should probably get trigonometry because that sounds about right. Yeah, absolutely. I I think yeah. that like this the the sort of the university at this scale is, um is much closer to that like old school style of like all exams like there's no written exams or anything everything's done spoken in like whatever dusk walls version of latin is like it's very much that like old stuffy this is university is not a thing that the middle class can access let alone the the lower classes and you aren't like you're from an academic background, but only because your your parents like squeezed you in here, right? So, um, and yeah, and just to make it worse, there are no grades. There are only like everything is a letter of recommendation for you to advance to the next class. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So uh, if if a professor uses yeah. levels of privilege and like like bad yeah. gatekeeping bullshit so you might yeah, not even just, have barriers failed barriers upon barriers yeah you might not mm -hmm. have failed it's just that you didn't suck up enough to probably this this professor or like someone else and and they've just written you off right so mm -hmm. um okay cool so so how do you so how do you get out of this yeah i'm saying that i and i'm going to be like a completely rude person in a very subtle way and i'm going to say i found that it's in my best interest to not chase down every talent a void c navigator could possibly <laughs> pursue and i've decided to um specialize in chemistry mm. yeah that's the end of my time okay cool um so the the professor like sort of looks at you and and gives you this like dead-eyed stare of kind of like i know you're wasting your time here you know you're wasting your time here you know you're wasting my time here that that like this this totally judgmental like super upper class what the hell are you doing here kind of thing um mm -hmm. and uh he he puts away his his stopwatch and and tucks it in, um, and uh, already kind of like striding off, just being like you know I'm I'm done with you. Um, says um, not under his breath or anything because he's definitely not trying to hide it. Um, uh, says more er like he says more er areas of expertise are more chances to fail and just like clips it closed and and like walks off just kind of like oh i'm done with you i i gave you every chance i could possibly give you like definitely in his eyes he thinks he's the hero of the piece but you know he's a piece of shit mm. and has mm. has never had your back um has never tried to have your back i'm gonna give this dude a name um just because i hate them 
and I would like to be able to call them a name during said hate. Um, let's uh, let's call them um, Professor Claremont. Um, nice. This is, this is such good fodder. This is like this is mm. great. Just like. <laughs> This is great, like, internal motivation for Stavril to just be, like, fucking communist newspapers. Like, <laughs> dealing with all this internal, like, upper-class bullshit is great. That's mm -hmm. great that we get to see this as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As you being, the, like, the very, yeah, this is your um, experience with it. And very viscerally. I'm happy. This is up to you. You're more than welcome to add Professor Clement um, as a... Um, like an enemy on your list if you would like to from professor clement's point of view you don't exist though right so if you add them then they will come into to play to actually like foil you uh if you want your story to go more in that direction but um yeah in their mind you're like they already discounted you now they're right about having discounted you uh so yeah that's totally in your hands now if you want to um run with that story um, I don't think I'm gonna make enemies. Okay. Like, that's not what you were saying, but I'm not I'm going to let Stavrul see Professor Clement as an enemy. And create okay. an enemy in that way. Yeah, cool. So that way, like, yeah. I like that, um, yeah. So I'm, since the door to the library is right here, um, I'm just going to head on in. Yeah, sure. And I think that there's no, like, there would be a librarian and things like that, but I don't think anyone takes the time to stop you, right? Like, because yeah. um, this is the kind of place where if you're here, that must be because you managed to get in, right? Like, the, no, no one expects someone to be committing crime inside Duskwall Academy, um, mm -hmm. which is kind of good and bad for you. Um, mm -hmm. But, yeah. Awesome. Okay. The, this is the exact sort of culture that breeds the the academic scoundrels. Yeah. Exactly. The, right. Yeah. 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 Um, awesome. Okay. Let's see your study role. Um, so this is a uh, working on a um, a long term project. So basically, what this means is for everyone following along at home, a result of one to three on this will get one segment on the clock. Uh, a result of four or five will get two segments, a six will get three segments, and a critical will get five segments. Um, so you are studying here. Um, mm -hmm. Do you... You can push yourself or, or any of that sort of thing. Um, because it's a... Um, this is a fortune roll, there's no, like, position or effect. Um, so, yeah. Did you click the roll or is it just not showing it's up? It's really slow. Okay, there we go. Um, a okay. two. Ah, unfortunate. Um, okay. Um, so do you want to describe how you get... Uh, a small amount of, like, a lead, probably, um, on dirt uh, for for Slain. Yeah, what direction do I need to start heading in? Like, to, like... If I want dirt on Slain, what's the best way to go about that? Ah, okay, right, right. Um, so that's that's what you're, like, searching now? Like, that's... Or, or is that a... Okay, cool. Um... Yeah, um, so you probably, you probably, like, start looking into Slane's family history and things like that, and, um, and tracing back, um, the, the, like, the family line, um, as much as you can. You know that Slane is, um, Slane comes from an old family, um, not, a um, not a, a Skov family in, in Duskwall, but they are, uh, definitely an older um, Akarosi family and at some point in the past they fell pretty significantly uh, from favour um, and 
Master Slain is sort of the first Slain in in living memory to have started to rise back up. And uh, a lot of that seems to be due to the patronage and due to Slain's friendship with um, the Dunvilles. Uh, but you're not exactly sure, like, where that friendship comes from, but that seems to be, like, an avenue to, to go down and, and to explore a little bit more. Um, Perfect. So I think we come back to the scene with you in um, in your lair, like, making notes down and, and writing that um, at your desk when uh, Seneca... Uh, comes in. Um, <laughs> um, uh, cool. And um, I'm like, uh, from someone, like, I'm kind of a bit shaken up at this point. I'm assuming that I'm kind of like lying down, kind of fairly fairly distressed, but trying to keep calm. Um, I think, is there someone, is there someone to make a, like a note of my neck at any point? Is there anyone want to kind of like comment on it before we, like, Seneca comes in? Because I want to like lead on to this. Yeah, sure. Um, do we get get any comment from Sabine or, or Stavril? Melody, I think you're muted if you're saying words. Um, uh, no, okay. we're saying words, just kind of thinking, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I kind of want really badly for nobody to notice it yet. Yeah, okay. If, if everyone's, <laughs> yeah, like, engaged. Really I, mean, I mean... Because, like, I mean, I've kind of crawled up there on the fork, and I'm fine with people not noticing for the bit. I could be very, like, yeah. at this point, my reaction was going to be, like, you know, I don't want to talk about it, ghost problems. I'd be, like, very moody, unnecessarily moody. Um, ghost <laughs> yeah. problems. But, um, ghost <laughs> problems, right? Um, yeah. So I'm kind of curled up there. Um, and when Seneca walks in, like, I can feel the hairs on my, like, arm stand up, and I'm instantly aware that whoever's walked in is not really Seneca. Like, there was a ghost at play here. Okay. So yeah, Seneca. Um, so what does I this... know straight away. Yeah. What Boom. does this look like, Seneca? Boom. This makes what happens next kind of interesting, I think. Yeah, sure. You can't get a ghost past past Kane. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you just can't. But you know, I am at this point. I am kind of. I've kind of just gone. Wh- yeah, what? looking up. All right. Yeah. Set the scene um, for us. Okay. So. So I'm kind of having fun with this in general. Like, Seneca knows that she's been noticed, but is playing it off. So like, mm-hmm. she says hello to everybody. She, um, the thing that I definitely want to do in this moment is, uh, well, I need to ask to make sure because sure. like the notes that I took earlier, does that still count as like me? Like kind of uh, establishing our long term project, or should I take another downtime action instead? Uh, so if you want to like do ticks towards it, then you'll have to to use your downtime action to work towards a long term project, um, mm. or you can um, just have said that like y- your notes was like setting up, like essentially creating the downtime. Uh, sorry, the the long term project. Alternately, you can purchase more downtime actions. Um, how much do they cost? Um, Is it a coin and something? Yeah, it's it's one coin or one rep um, to get an additional yeah. downtime action. So you can say that you did work towards it earlier, and we can have you quickly roll now, um, and then yeah. pay one coin uh, or one rep to to then. Uh, have a, a second action and it's up to you which one you want to spend um, a coin or a rep and that can be your own coin or the crew's coin if the crew has coin uh, we didn't the, give you, you, coin you oh, do have two to, s- to begin with um, mm-hmm. so you've got two in your your um, your hold right, right. at the moment if you want to, to do that um, so uh, first I'll uh, roll for the long-term project. What do I roll? Okay. Uh, so you were like, you were writing down just stream of consciousness. Um, Mm -hmm. so where's, where's non-possessed Seneca? Um, so I can see that as being like, that's probably a sway, right? Because you were trying to, you were going for that, like a motive tactic right like you weren't necessarily like studying you were just writing stream of consciousness your thoughts on the matter right Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So I, I feel like that's sway because you're just like essentially writing down um, to be convincing later. Um, so it's you probably didn't actually dig up any dirt. You've just like used your own emotions and injected them into scandal, right? Like um, whether or not that's based off actual, you know, bad experiences you have had with Slain or not is is sort of irrelevant, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, so if you want to do a, a sway roll, it's a um, this is a fortune roll, uh, and it would be using your sway. Hmm. Okay. Yep. Hold on. Wait, how do I, what do I press? Uh, so you click on sway and then in position you select fortune roll instead. Um, instead uh -huh. of like choosing a, a risky control or desperate position. Okay. And effect standard? Uh, yeah, I don't think, yeah, I guess just pop in effect standard because I don't think you need to put an effect um, for a, a fortune roll. Because, um, I mean, the fortune roll is... determines what your effect is. Um, okay, so a five, a uh, four, five means you get two segments. Okay, so the, wow. the, um, the dig up dirt, the first clock is three segments through. Um, nice. So... Your your inflammatory, scandalous writing definitely sets the stage for the actual like legitimate content that um, that Stavril has now like started to dig up, and um, you're you're almost to the point where like you've put together enough of a story that you could push it out there and and say you know this is something to be upset at slain about right? Um, uh, cool. Um, cool. So, so let's see. First of all, uh, how are you paying for this secondary action? Do you want to pay a um, coin? I actually don't want to take that uh, other action again. Oh, okay, cool. I, I was just yeah, I was just yeah. asking to make sure. Okay, yeah, no worries. Yeah, I had. I mean, it, it makes sense. I mean, I, don't you hoard coin? <laughs> Yeah, that's yes, right. Yeah, yeah. You're... Yeah, I was thinking that when you were going to take a second action, I was like, maybe don't use coin because you're kind of the money protector. <laughs> so, yeah. um, um, although yeah. Nyrex isn't. Uh, so... True. True, yeah, that's yeah. True. Um, uh, okay, yeah, so so set the scene as you come in and then we can uh, okay. we can maybe right. talk about our next score. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, yeah. I, so I come in. Um, uh, I'm presuming that Stavril is taking notes. Um, as I enter, uh, so uh, I come in and like ask Stavril how, uh, because they have my notes uh, with them, and I'm like, uh, "Did you see anything useful? Is there something that we can approach immediately?" And we're like trading notes about um, how we can move forward with that story. That happens more or less. Um, silently on screen and then can, oh can I suggest it not can I suggest mm -hmm. that Stavril go to answer you uh yeah no like yeah yeah um just because yeah I, I would like I kind of like came to interrupt that if you're okay with that sure thing I, hey, I uh, have something to say that's short enough to be interrupted for sure. hold, hold up I think Brandon I think you may have just gone silent can you no yeah, it seems to no, be. We, we so were long. so close. All right, hang on, hang on. Listeners, in case you haven't been keeping up with the last couple of episodes, Brandon is cursed. Hello. Yes. Hello. Beautiful. Oh, nice. Uh, I'm confused. Yeah, that was so Why weird. Why am I not it, hearing anyone else? It, it, oh, Are you no, not no, hearing no, us no, now? No. It's doing that thing. Okay, try again. Try, <laughs> try again. Let me try this one more time. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 
Oh no. <laughs> It, that was a long run, though, right? Like, we got we yeah. got a long yeah, time. Um, Most of our session, honestly. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm very surprised. All right. Hello? Yep, we can Hello? hear you. Can you hear us? Okay, I can. Yes. Yes! Okay. Woo! Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so what did I miss just now? Oh, okay, um, are you okay with being interrupted by Kane when you go to talk to Star? I couldn't care for you can't hear us again. Oh no, Brandon. Also, your microphone sounds far away. Okay, oh dear. Brandon, I don't want you to be upset with yourself or your system. So take the heart that I am sending you through the, the camera. Okay, heart, heart. Um, you can't hear me, so I'm gonna quickly type to you. Um, I'm going to try a thing one more time. All right. Sorry, viewers at home. <laughs> um, these Aww. these tech <laughs> issues are so strange. Oh, wow. Where'd you get that? that, was just, that was, you've just got it That's on. That's right, dude. <laughs> All righty. And it was at the pivotal moment as well. Ah, oh, mm. it's it's... Discord hates us. <laughs> um, I have so many heart emojis for this. There's so much, like, anticipation behind this action now. <laughs> um, all right. Okay, I can hear right now. Let's hope we, that that doesn't go uh, wrong. We can hear you. Can you hear me? Okay. Okay, cool. I'm sorry. No, all good. Uh, don't don't worry. Um, so, Alex, go for what you yes. were saying. Um, okay. Uh, it's totally fine if you're not. If you'd like me to just just wait until you get the um, thing with Stavril concluded, I'd like to interrupt as Stavril is speaking back to you about the, the thing. Oh, Okay, we could thing. do that. If not, if not, that's totally fine. I can that, wait till you've completed. But I think that I think still, that, yeah. I think that still goes in the direction that I wanted to go in. So yeah. Okay, sure, sure. Mm -hmm. Um, because it would be like you would only get this like this split seconds, like well, at least like seconds in before Kane's mm -hmm. gathered their thoughts and gone hold up and like yeah. So that's kind of where the interruption was coming from. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. So. Sure. Um, I'm gonna pull the trigger on what Stavros going to say. Um, Stavrul flips through, like, a bunch of the, the notes that Seneca took and says, One of the biggest things that I think is being approached in here that I just got some of my own information about is, I think, Dunville's our angle. And then I've kind of like, Dunville's, can we stop at Dunville's? Yeah. And I, and I, yeah. Stop! Stavrul, stop! And like my tone is completely shifted from I am I was cautious when you entered the room and you all turned to me going, What? Yeah. What what's going on? Like why are you suddenly and then I've turned everyone going, Stop talking. This isn't Seneca. What? <laughs> and then Stop Roll just pops in confused and says Wait, repeat the last sentence I said. Because it's and not I, yeah. They're yeah. thinking that they just, that they were just being the preceptor again, because, <laughs> like, there was a loud yeah. noise that they were supposed to, like, stop doing something, so. Yeah. No, this, you're, you're fine, Stavro. Yeah. You're fine, oh. Stavro. You just said a perfectly normal sentence. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so, but I'm more interested in the last sentence that Kane just said. I'm confused. Don't you dare say you're confused. Who are you? You are not Seneca. And everyone was just like, what the uh, fuck? <laughs> has never shown this kind of initiative ever. I'm Do we need to do something? What are you Anyone, thinking? Like, like, I mean, is Kane having like an episode? of some description? Is this a family thing? I, I'm gonna, like, at this point, I'm gonna stand up from my chair, and I'm going to reach into my pocket, 
and I'm gonna like look through, like go to look through my pocket of arcane implements, and it's like, if you're not gonna tell me who you are, I am going to find out. And I've said it directly at Senator. King, King can I speak to you? It's like, um, I, like fucking, I just, I woke up like hours ago. I'm fucked up. Uh, several of us probably just fucking died at that fucking warehouse. I'm sorry, I screwed up. That was mostly my fault. But can I, can I speak to you privately, please? And I, like, try to usher Kane away from the rest of the group. I kind of turn to everyone, and everyone's looking at me with, like, the weirdest fucking expression. <laughs> kind of, like, kind of, like, 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 kind of almost, like, endearing almost. Like, Kane, we get it. You're really self-conscious about the supernatural thing. But Seneca just walked in. Like, <laughs> like Seneca's really self-conscious about doing the walk. Chain. <laughs> yeah. You're drawing um, a lot of attention. <laughs> all attention to it. Like, can you please back off for a second? And I kind of looked around, going like, in my head. Okay, this is not known to you guys, but in my head, I'm thinking if I can just get close to this, whoever this is in Seneca, I can maybe draw out their their kind of like essence a little bit, and they can see like that there is something on Seneca, like there's an aura, and I can mm -hmm. use that to my advantage. So I'm just like, fine. Like in my head, I've just gone, okay. I looked around, I've looked around at everyone and it's like, and I've sort of got up angry and I'm sort of speechless and I'm heading towards Seneca right now. Mm -hmm. And we're walking into the bathroom, mm -hmm. um, where I presume at yes, least that's... still like the shards of the files that are broken are still like lying on the yeah. floor. Yeah. Um, I close the door. And immediately as you close the door, I go to re like my six foot three self has gone to slam you against the wall, very very forcibly. Is this in the other room? This is in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. Much harder, much harder than I should have if I was talking to Seneca. So I would be respecting Seneca's body, but you're not Seneca. So I thrust Ooh. you against the wall really roughly, and I just whispered, "Who are you? Oh my. How the fuck did you are get you? into our law? What Lair the fuck there. are you doing? The, what the hell is Don't this? Don't play dumb with me." I can feel you. This is my job. Say who you are, or I will force it out and show the rest of it. What have you got to gain from being here? Yes, Kane. Hands <laughs> feel things. And I wink and say, other things can feel things too. And then clear my throat. <laughs> Fine. You want to play that like, Right. Uh, okay, Kane, I'm sorry. I fucked up at the fucking warehouse. <laughs> I I made you terribly uncomfortable. That was never my intention. But like, what the hell? Do you think I'm point, possessed or something? And at this point, like the uncomfortable setting of the ghost has kind of hit me. And you've brought up the warehouse. And in my head, I've like flashed back to when you were, like, at this moment, I knew that a ghost had entered your body at that point. And I wasn't quite sure, but it, it felt wrong. Like, I had encountered that spirit before. And I've just told you, and I've what? sort of sit back up. And I'm like, oh, you're going to sit back up and go, do I know you? Uh, hmm? yeah. And this is a very good <laughs> yeah. I have a name. It's Seneca Kiwi. Stop, stop pretending we you're stole Seneca. Ah, fucking... and Kay is like so visibly angry at this point. At this point, like he just slams a fist against the door, and I'm I'm assuming that the other two can hear this. Like, yeah, yeah. we we, oh, yeah. we would see like a shot from the the main room, and that we just like hear this muffled like yelling from the other room, and then the door just like rattles in its uh, on its I mean, hinges. There's, there's yeah. just elevator music. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we can we can assume other things may be going on in this bathroom yeah. right now. <laughs> so so how do you respond? How do you respond, mm -hmm. Seneca? So, so I step closer and I go Kane, you're obviously worried about something. Just talk to me about the thing. I'm not telling you anything until you tell me who you 
ah and i'm like my voice is breaking and i'm clearly self-conscious at this point like it's like mm -hmm. i'm very deeply rattled okay uh, so <laughs> like, this is this is where it turns into a thing right yeah this is this is okay um so i step closer again and at this point like we're uncomfortably close <laughs> And I'm gonna let you know beforehand that I'm gonna sway, but I'm gonna say what I'm what what I'm saying before I actually roll, which is yeah. Let's presume you don't know who I am, then. You're the one who called for me, and you seem to be having this problem where you keep overextending. Yeah. And at this point, at this point. I'm like dragging the tip of one finger along her neck, <laughs> along, the, along the edges of her scars. I'm like, oh, you keep thinking that this is the solution to your problems, and it seems to be making more problems for you. You nearly. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt for making sure that. My lovely little bluebird did not get hurt. But you shouldn't have done that. And what I'm gonna ask you to do for the time being while I'm here. I'm not gonna interrupt you. You can do whatever it is you need to do to make sure that this work is successfully performed because Seneca loves this work too. But you're, like gonna, oh, but you're sorry, not gonna. But you're not gonna tell. But you're not gonna tell anybody that this happened. You're gonna apologize to the rest of them and forget that this ever took place. Do you understand? And then I'm gonna roll sway. Okay. Dang. So, so on um, this, oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, it, do you, what were you gonna say? I was just gonna say, kind of like, and and Cynic is passionate about this, and like. I am like at this point this like you've just like obviously you've been talking like you're not cynic cynica but mm. that's like the click moment for me when it's really like hammered in I was like I was right but oh no I was right like yeah. <laughs> instead of going like you know I'm gonna expose you this threat is like very really shaking me to the core and I've just kind of gone oh, oh no you're right mm. <laughs> so there's like this very switch in Kane where instead of being very dominant and like kind of like aggressive Kane's reverted back to that really self-conscious, like, fumbling kind of tall uh, kind of dude, and trying to hold it together at this point when you okay. play. So, when when PVC v PVC action occurs, um, how this how this works is basically um, we we get to decide how the resolution method um, plays out. So. If if this was an NPC, yes, Seneca would just roll sway, and then we would figure out how it goes from there, and then the fiction would keep tumbling forward. But because yeah. this is um, Seneca versus Kane, essentially, or at least Seneca versus Kane, um, um, there's like we it, it gets a little bit more complicated because obviously we don't sure. want to say. Um, you know, someone can like essentially attack another PC and decide how that PC uh, and that therefore that player plays their character. But Blades gives us this nice little tool where we can discuss how this resolution can occur, and then um, we can give away that agency um, on purpose. Like we can have agency by giving away our agency and say, "Yes, I will leave the decision up to the dice." So, okay. the first question I have to ask, Alex, is it mm -hmm. possible in this instance that um, that Seneca or Seneca will actually be able to sway Kane? Is it possible that that uh, can occur? I think it's even more than possible. Okay. I actually think that it doesn't need a role. Like if we if we if we can have a choice in agency and not having a role. I think that it's very clear that like Kane is unsettled and Kane knows to, to play the cards safe mm. and is also subconscious at the same time. Like Kane is fundamentally a journalist, right? So like while Kane is being like kind of shaken to the core, worried about the supernatural thing, someone's coming here. It's because 
they fucked up, that this person is in Seneca. And that's the realization mm. that's sort of slowly dawning on Kane. That this is this is on them. This is on them kind of not performing well. There's this to consider too. The fact that Kane doesn't quite know what this person is after yet. And doing anything drash or drash or resisting that could lose their chance of finding out exactly what mm. that is. So okay. it's very smart for Kane to not resist this right now. Okay. And I think after now that now that they're like their confidence has been shot, they're not gonna try to. They've kind of like they've having they've like kind of forced themselves to just kind of kind of say, mm. oh, okay, okay, okay. And kind of taken everything that this person is saying. So I feel like it's pretty clear that they've been swayed at this point. Okay, so that mm -hmm. that now asks the next question because it is it is definitely an option that you can just say, I, I don't believe a role is necessary. Um, Brandon, are you happy to just accept that? Ooh, well, you, he's, you... He said, "Hold on again." Oh, he hold on. He cut out. Oh, okay, no worries. Yeah. Brandon, can you hear us? Can you hear us, Brandon? I don't know why this is happening. Oh, no. Oh, can you hear me? I'm going to say that that is a no. Um, I also... Um, I want to have a part in this, like, conversation as well. After <laughs> they leave the bathroom. Because I have a plan to do a thing. Okay. Just so you know. Okay. Sure. So when, once, we, uh, once we get this uh, sorted out, we can... Um, uh, yeah, we can go ahead. Yep. Yeah, just, I think I'm going to be, uh, I think I'm going to be getting Zoom. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, um, this, yeah, this, uh, this stream is not sponsored by Zoom, um, but if Zoom wants to hit me up, that'd be sick. Um, so... Can you hear us, Brandon? Uh, I do not think Brandon can. Um, oh, my. oh no! And again, at the pivotal moment, right? Ooh. Brandon's cursed. Um, this is unsettling. We can still hear you, which is. Um, Um, hmm. Oh. <laughs> um, okay, in the meantime, um, do you, uh, what are you folks doing outside whilst this is happening? Um, Stavril mm. and, and Sabine? Be right back. Question. It's the question I will ask many times throughout this campaign. What's the weather like? <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Okay, that's a, this is a good time for us to, to figure this out, right? Um, so... What I, um, what we were sort of talking about is to use like a fortune roll, right? Um, mm -hmm. to determine weather. Um, yeah. Now, how I was thinking that would manifest, um, Brandon. Yes. Can you hear us? Uh, I'm guessing yeah, you can. Yes, I can hear you now. I'm sorry. Awesome. No, cool. All good. Um, so Alex has just run off for a second, but when Alex gets back, we can uh, keep going with your scene. Um, we're just currently discussing how the weather thing is going to work for um, for Stavril. So what I was thinking of doing is, uh, depending on how like um, chaotic the moment is, there will be fewer dice um, on the um, on the the fortune roll, and then the higher the result is, the more you can dictate what the weather is um to, to like be alongside with what you want to do does that make sense sure okay cool um that works for now yeah, yeah yeah um so i don't think that there's any particular reason why the weather would be um would be unconventional there's no like particular awful actually there is hmm. um oh right because <gasps> There is, is. The and there's a, there's a thing that might occur soon. So so I'll do a fortune roll. Um, how do I do fortune rolls? Um, uh, there's a button somewhere I think on the crew sheet I reckon. Yeah, I'll just do that. Um, so I will do a fortune roll with one die. Um, 
and and give that a shot um so this is weather um so three okay so you do not have what what was the weather that you wanted you wanted um just like some thunder and like loud rain okay so i think um i think it was like inclement weather shortly before like you know a few moments ago but the weather clears up um like during this argument um and if we were outside we would see that the weather clears up to a uh, horrendously unnatural uh degree uh but we, we'll get into that in a moment um let's let's first finish up this this Seneca um <laughs> Seneca Kane scene um so yes right, so Brandon, are you what happy to? Consensus? Yeah, are, are you happy to accept that your sway just works? Uh, I am, but yeah. then I need to ask another question. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Sure. So I wanted to do a thing. Uh, namely, I wanted to mesmerize. Oh, him. mesmerism! Oh no! <laughs> um, bang! <laughs> so what's? Uh, I'll quickly move over to table view. So, for folks at home, uh, mesmerism. When you sway someone, you may cause them to forget that it's happened until they next interact with you. So, again, Alex, this is something that you get to decide whether or not... Um, whether or not this, this applies. Actually, okay, I'm going to be real with you. I would love to do this i think it's fun that i forget um especially after my supernatural abilities have kind of been weakened and i'm kind of not in the best state to contest that however if i forget this means that the next time we go start on the next thing that we're doing i'm going to instantly remember in that moment that's going to cause problems in that moment so it might take up a good chunk of our like thing like our conflict you in that time you could could you interpret it as um not that you forget everything but that you forget that you were convinced of it like that you forget that it wasn't your idea to like be, hush it up and that kind of stuff mm. rather than forgetting the actual that? fact that yeah. Seneca is now someone else for just kind of the details of how you got to the current mm. state of your stance on it might be a bit fuzzy right I, and how, that's, that's another we... alternative that, well, that's kind of what I was thinking, but that wouldn't, that wouldn't definitely. Oh, now we've lost Alex. What? <laughs> what happening? <laughs> Hello. Oh, this is hilarious. Um, oh. You back? Hello? Yeah, yeah, we can hear hey, you. Yeah, yeah, this call just crashed. It just crashed wow. and then it just oh, reloaded. And I was like, okay, that's never happened to me before. <laughs> Today is the night, really? Yeah, um, me too. Yeah, it just completely crashed. Uh, oh, all good. Sorry, um, back, to, back to where I was. Yeah. Apologies for that. No, no, no worries. Um, it's like, okay, fine, crash on me. Um, yeah, I, I, I like the idea of like forgetting that it was kind of like my intention to just kind of pull back and to kind of assess the situation. Um, right. But it is, going to, it is going to entangle our next thing. So, uh, I'll leave it to you guys whether you would like me to take this decision or not. I'm happy to do either, um, but it's up, it's up to everyone, I think. Mm. Okay, I think be fun. Let me say, I guess, how I kind of interpreted how it would play out, mm -hmm. uh, which is um, you still have essentially an inclination that Seneca is possessed, and you still have an inclination about who is possessing her. But you don't remember actually confronting me about it. Because in that situation, if I don't remember, the next time we are meet, Kane is 100% yeah. confront about it. And it'll be aggressive and probably play out the exact same way. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm. that's, in that, that's in Kane's personality to do that. That's kind of like where, where that Fair. memorizes will come into point. So yeah. unless you had a plan for that that conflict to be resolved, it might not be best to take that mesmerization sway. Because yeah. it might be better just to resolve this now that I can remember. Because it would almost fair. invalidate your success, right? Um, exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. fair enough. 
because Kane will react the exact same way because yeah. Kane's very predictable like that. Um, <laughs> yeah, so do we want to hold off on that? Yeah. Okay. So so we 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 stick with the idea that um, that Kane is gonna like backpedal on on this issue. Um, and uh, sorry. I have to say, um, to continue on, I've got something to say afterwards. Okay. Uh, and Lavender, you were saying that you wanted to have... We, we'll end the session soon, but if you have... Um, you wanted to have a word in? Um, when yeah. Like, yeah, when they gonna, come back... I was going to do that too. Yeah, maybe you can have a word in response to what I'm saying. Okay. Um, so I want, to, I want it to go kind of like... I'll, I'll drop my arms, drop my stance. Kind of like take a step in... Take a second to like absorb everything that you're saying. And I want to just go... What do you want? Why? What are you gaining from doing this? Very quietly, as if to say, like, I'm figuring out. Because, like, at this point, I know. But I don't know why you're here. And you've only just tried to convince me of my insecurities. (laughs) Right? I don't know anything about you. I I know that I'm fucking insecure right now. And that you've made me feel like shit. But why? Why are you doing this? I don't know you. At least I think I don't know. I I don't think I know you. And then, like, that one finger on your neck turns into my whole hand on your cheek. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. sinister but also sweet. (laughs) And I whisper (laughs) very, very, very softly. (laughs) I just want to have fun, Kane. But I can't keep having fun if you take my Seneca from me. So you are going to help me keep Seneca safe, all right? Oh, that's like, I know who you are now. And I, I lean in, <laughs> I lean in even closer, like um, my 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 lips barely an inch from her ear, and I whisper. Softer still. Say my name. <laughs> Jane, what was that last part? I didn't catch that. And I'm sitting here, and I, 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 I want everyone to say this is the last shot. <laughs> I'm sitting here, almost like I'm choked up, quite literally. As you can see, my neck is very, very sore. Uh, just like narcs, but it's it's mangled, like there was so much conflicted emotion coming out of that sentence. And, and just... just as you say that, I grab the door knob and push the door open, <laughs> and I and <laughs> suddenly where like like it, I am now leaning out from. Uh, my closeness to you, and I put my hands. I put my hand on your shoulders and go. So you're okay, right? You're good. And the two of the, like the rest of you, what stumble back from the door as it gets like wrenched oh, yeah. open? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. We're, we're so we're just uh, yep standing here awkwardly. So you're okay, so right? I can't, can we cut it there? So you're good, right? Can we just cut it on there? That that would be brilliant. Uh, like cut the. We cut don't the... even need an answer. Like Kane oh. just. Stunned, you two were backpedaling, and it's like, so we're good, right? <laughs> just. It, was I this mean, like Lavender was gonna say? Yeah, yeah, were you gonna yeah. say something? Whatever is going on here, I'm going to reinforce the beams of this crew. We know from time and time again that our. that the history of our politics splinters and splinters and splinters. Well, I've been on ships, and I will not let that happen. I will reinforce the beams of this, of our crew. And Seneca just, like, gestures reassuringly to Stavril, and, like, Mm -hmm. shares this intense gaze with Kane. Mm -hmm. Is everyone here fucking except me? <laughs> okay, I I think I think on that that's the perfect moment. Like so so that like Sabine says that right. There's this weird tense 
like I'm gonna use the word. There's this weird tense three way going on with the other the other three. Sabine sort of like standing separate says that, and then there's this like peeling like like knock on um on the the roller door to the front of um uh, like your lair, which I mean you folks had it down. You don't remember when it was drawn up. Um, to to admit someone um, like standing there, you didn't hear it get drawn up. Um, it's just apparently open, and outside um, the sky is this clear, um, bright, vibrant, um, like purple of twilight. Um, and there's this figure standing um, standing at the like in the doorway, um, silhouetted behind there. Like you, you can barely see them um, because. You know, there's so little light and there's no light out on the street. Um, you can't see this person, but there's like a slight glow coming from beneath the brim of their hat. Um, and uh, you can see that they're very finely dressed and they are the same silhouette that we saw following Stavril and Sabine earlier. And this voice sort of echoes into the room, this, this soft, um, soft kind of sonorous voice. Um, and despite the fact that they're like relatively far away from you, their words carry very clearly into the room. Uh, and you all hear it as if this person's like standing right next to you. Um, and in this like warbling uh, sonorous voice, the figure says, um, I do not mean to interrupt your little tryst, is it? I have a proposition. Perhaps an opportunity for employ. My name is Redweather, and they they stride into the um, into the lair, and uh, we'll we'll we'll, we'll mm. stop it there. Stop the session there. Um, just spot to stop at. <laughs> just like, are you so really much has happened. <laughs> that, that was that was a lot for That's one downtime. That was a lot of <laughs> a lot of shit. We all we all overindulged. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How Everyone are you so done. good at swaying? Even <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's so good. It's so good. Um, okay, so so let's do let's do character XP, uh, and then we'll do end of session shout outs and uh, and say good night. Um, uh, this would be a good point to ask a question then. Yeah, yeah of course. When Seneca's possessed body gains XP, does do both sheets gain XP? I don't think so. I think that XP will go into Nyrix, and okay. and that will mean that we will start to see like Nyrix as being a character that can grow alongside you. Maybe Nyrix will become a cohort down the line, or maybe you will just like this is a thing that is now true of Seneca that like. Um, you will play kind of both characters bouncing back and forth. Who knows? And just, it just keep in mind that you are lost, so it makes sense for you to not receive. Like, yeah, the, yeah. Because because uh, mechanically, like yeah. Cynic is not here, right? Um, yeah, exactly. And th yeah. that is like the downside of uh, of the lost um, trait. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's that's something to um, to note as well. You should remove the trauma from um ah. from Seneca and I feel like the harm as well um f from possessed Seneca uh that is because um whilst the body that Nyrex is in is harmed mm. I don't think that harm is hampering Nyrex because like mechanically you actually have a fresh character right um mm -hmm. so yeah so I think you can remove that Things like coin, where it's like actually corporeal, keep that because, like, mm -hmm. yeah, um, and and clear your your advancement track and um, and yeah, we'll we'll play uh, as if this is a fresh character. Um, okay. Uh, and now that we've got like the two, we've got um, Seneca the slide and Seneca the possessed. Um, we can oh. we can do this. Um, this is cool. I've never seen the same character be two characters. Like that's that's very interesting. Um, 
Okay, I guess on that, because we've already got Seneca open, do we want to go through um, Seneca Nyrex's uh, XP track? Okay. Um, every time you roll a Desperate Atlian, mark XP in that Atlian's attribute. That did not happen. Yep. Um, at the end of each session, mark one XP. Uh, if you address a challenge with deception or in influence. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's one. Yeah, definitely take um, one for that. Uh, you express your beliefs, drives, heritage, or background. So let's have a look at what your new beliefs, drives, heritage, and background mm -hmm. are. Um, so your heritage is... Uh, you're a ghost, obviously. And your background <laughs> is trade escort. Cool. All right. Mm -hmm. Do you believe you expressed them? Um, I mean, I was... Yeah. I was terribly seductive out in the way for That's no true. for just for the purposes of harassing King. And no. um, ghosty. Yeah. And I, you were harassing and ghosty towards me for sure. <laughs> <laughs> mm. And uh I think it's fair to say that my pri uh, my primary drive is to make sure that nothing happens to Seneca's body. Mm. But mm. also to harass King because is there for the we don't like each other, yeah. yeah. We just don't like each other. I, I think taking yeah. at some point we need to properly define like if we don't like each other for reasons more <laughs> than the fact that I'm just the ghost. <laughs> I think I think we could definitely have that discussion. Mm -hmm. Um and bring that back and bring it up next time for sure. Because I think if you were just a possessor ghost, I'd be irritated by you, but there's something else going on. Mm, yeah. There's, 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 there's something personal, going. right? Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, how much do I get? Um, so Someone? get. I think. Uh, I think one from that. Mm -hmm. um, what What do folks think? I think one. Um, yeah. Only because the seductive part can come into the next point, and you can get more for that too. Yeah. That this next one, we're gonna have to to talk a little bit about this. Um, mm -hmm. but, but so I think one is fine. Yeah. Um, so so read the next one out, Brandon. Uh, you struggled with issues from your vice or traumas during the session. <laughs> so, I think both Cynicas deserve one for this. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Agreed. Because, like, Cynica, like, this whole situation wouldn't have come about unless Cynica indulged vice when Cynica didn't need to, right? Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. And Nyrix definitely had. Like, Nyrus's whole struggle here was the fact that they were dealing with the fact that they were possessing someone because of their vice, right? Like, so, um, how do you feel about that, Brandon? Um, I agree, but I will petition that Seneca Prime deserves 2 XP mm -hmm. because um, her trauma obsessed is that she's obsessed mm. fundamentally with the fact that some part of her knows that the voice that she heard when she passed out was Nyrix, but can't prove it and doesn't know what it was or where yeah. it came from. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Yep. And she's, oh. she's obsessed with finding that out, yeah. Yep. Mm. And that's what got, kind of got her yeah. in. Yeah, indulging her vice. Yeah, that's that's totally fair. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Take, take two for Seneca Prime uh, and one for Seneca Possessed. Um, these names are ridiculous. Um, <laughs> uh, awesome, thank you. Uh, so who who wants to go next for XP? Yeah, Kane. Alrighty, yeah, let's so see. Me. Let's have a look. So we can skip the desperate action. I didn't really need desperate actions that time. Um, you adjust a challenge with knowledge or arcane power. Hmm. <laughs> yes, of course I did. Um, I, I'm going to argue for two, only because I confronted the knowledge, like I know that they've been possessed. That was a proof of ability external to the ritual that I did in the bath, and I tried to address that, the knowledge that was happening. But I'm happy to take one if people don't agree with that. I, th I think it's two. 
Hmm? I can see it because... Oh, no, 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 no. I, yeah, I, I think it's two. I think it's two. Sure. Yeah, yeah. two sounds and, good. I mean, they dress it very effectively, but I did it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you tried to, uh, yeah. I tried. Um. I get the you tried star. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I'll take two for that. Um, oh. Sure, I'll make a note because I kind of want to add it separately. Um, cool. So uh, you expressed your beliefs, strives, heritage, or background. Oh, God, did I do that. <laughs> um, yeah. It's, it, there's, there's, there's something going on between Nyrex and myself. That's very obvious. Yeah. Um, there's also obvious the how I, how unsettled I was by the fact that there was yeah. something possessed. Um, mm. I'd also say that like I don't know whether kind of like the charcoal thing it shows something that something's going on, but I don't know if we know that's from background yet. I don't know if the audience knows that's from mm. our background specifically a ship rocket. So I don't know if that counts, but I think definitely one for here. I think one. Yeah, I think one yeah, came yeah. through with this. Yeah. Um, um, just because that, like that sort of charcoal knowledge isn't super super clear at this point. Um, yeah. Mm. But or at least who... it's not clear to Kane, which is important in getting an XP oh. for. Well, um, this is it's a little bit like player level two. Like, are you counting XP from the player level, or are you counting it from the character level? And mm. like, this isn't something that like people really talk about when discussing XP. Like, which perspective are you like taking? Taking yeah. it from, are you taking it from your perspective, the audience's perspective, or your character's perspective? There's a bunch of like, mm. different layers to it. Mm. So, what is the take one then? Correct? I think okay. one is probably fair. I don't think it was super expressed, even if it was like through a player perspective. So that's fine. Uh, yeah, I think um, it's going to come out, but I don't think oh, quite yet. Yeah, um, yeah, you struggle with issues from your files or traumas during your session. Mm. <laughs> um, I guess that's an easy two. One, because I did the weird ritual thing and everyone was uncomfortable. Two, because I was very traumatized by what happened in the previous session and I was trying to remify that. But it wasn't an mm. actual trauma, so it's like... Yeah, like see... From a mechanical perspective, it wasn't actual trauma, but it was trauma. Yeah. In a sense. From, from my point of view, I, I would definitely award two. Like, the, without a doubt, award two. But the two points that I see as being, like, really stand out, like, for starters, you lost your vice purveyor, which is really bad. Um, but but the, yeah. the second thing is, I think the fact that you didn't even try and resist Nyrex, right? Like, you, you, you did that, like, you did the whole like oh you know Shall get we? get out of my friend sort of like wrestly mm -hmm. bit but then as soon as yeah. nyrix gave you like the the possible out of being like no study this see how a ghost mm. does their their shit let the weird thing be true yeah. kane's just like <laughs> yeah i guess like, <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> yeah i like that like there's yeah there is definitely yeah. that aspect to that because kane is self-conscious about being attacked with the ghost power but kane is at heart a curious motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> and I know it disgusts him, and he hates that. Yeah. That's, that is true and That's correct. Part of who he is, that, yeah. that influenced that decision for sure. Yeah. Um, cool. So, yeah, that's. I like that. I, I so definitely think two. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. That's cool. I'm going to yeah. um, I'm gonna put three into the player advance book, so I am actually going to go up. Oh, cool. It's here. I don't, I don't know how that works. So, someone's. So you clear it off, and then you get uh, to choose sure. another one of these special abilities. Ooh, um, so okay. yeah, you can just pick any of them, and uh, and that uh, is now true. And we can figure out how that becomes true in in uh, the fiction next mm -hmm. session. Um, sure. But yeah. Um, all right. Uh, do you want to go next, Melody? Yeah, sure thing. So um, I did not roll any desperate actions. Uh, let's see, address a challenge with tracking or violence? No, I did not. Um, uh, you expressed your beliefs, drives, heritage, your background. Uh, I think I probably get a one there, because I was like, you know, hanging out with this, the old old mate Scovlanders. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and you know, also like, you know, fucking I've been, I've lived through a horrible, horrible war. I know how to deal with people who are like mm. experiencing trauma and that kind of thing and talk them down, which I helped, um, Help several with. I think that's true. Um, Thank you for saying that because I was ab actually about to say that to you. Yeah. That's the <laughs> very exact thing. Yeah. So, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I think that's two because of that, right? Like, because cool. Sabine mm -hmm. did not need to do that, right? Sabine didn't need to be yeah. the counselor, right? Like, 
Um, and I think that that's a really important part of your yeah. belief structure, right? Yeah, totally. Um, and like her kind of perceived role in the group as well. Like, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Awesome. I will gladly take it. Yeah. Um, uh, and well, I overindulged. So, <laughs> um, yes. I think I've got to take one for vice or traumas. Um, but I got, I got away with it with like the, one of the softer possible outcomes. So I don't think it's worth two. Mm -hmm. Um, but I definitely think, yeah, one for that one. Uh, I mean, we haven't seen it on screen yet, but technically the combined effort between you and several True. gave your wanted level, right? Like we haven't seen okay, that, <laughs> but like, you know, there's I, next session's gonna have at some point in time, there's gonna be a, a oh. cut scene of like, you know, an inspector connecting two dots on a, a cork board and being like, ah right you know and, and a, a case <laughs> file is gonna start right so um yeah cool so yeah so, I, don't discount your what hint. Are you doing? um oh, yeah uh, two then i don't know i don't know what are people hmm. thinking i i yeah i mean i i i don't feel strongly towards two which and when i when i'm not sure i tend to like defer towards mm. one like it, generally if it's gonna be a two i'm like fairly confident about it i was gonna say that i feel like it's justified getting several two but not you mm, yeah i feel like because in this situation with your advice it was like the consequences yeah were kind of amplified by several um, uh -huh. I, I like even though you both contributed to that, I don't think the contribution was was equal. Yeah, so I yeah, like totally. One and several giving them two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see. I think that's fair. Um, mm. Also, I'm guaranteed two because I overindulged because of my vice. But the reason I narrated that is because I got haunted. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you know, two regardless. Yeah, yeah. My method acting. Yeah, yeah. that's fair. <laughs> um, okay, uh, cool. Yeah. So funnel that XP in. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to decide where to spend it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and I've got my ability, so I'm excited. Oh yeah. Do okay. Do you want to talk about it now, or do yeah, you want to? Yeah, I'll just quickly talk. Yeah, quickly, yeah, sure. I'll just quickly bring it up. Um, so, funny enough, like I, I was pretty confident in the fact that I was able to sense ghosts and stuff, mm -hmm. but I've now taken Ghost Mind, um, which talks about all supernatural entities, which I think would be very useful. Um, particularly in the future with potential demon stuff. Um, mm. uh, so you're always aware of supernatural entities in your presence. Take one die when you gather info about the supernatural. So um, I, I think, yeah, we may have already seen this manifest on screen then. Like, as this knocking happens, like, Kane's eyes yeah. dart towards the, the door, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's potential that this could have happened during, like, getting this extra sense. But, like, yeah. Kane's kind of, like, has this kind of, like, I am attuned to the fear and that sort of stuff. This would just amplify that. I think, mm. to a certain extent, that experience with, with the spooky ghost diver has really kind of, like, amplified their senses. They're more terrified mm. than ever. Mm. And that is, like, increased their ability to sense that. Um, cool. Sure. I love it. From the narrative perspective, I thought that was, like, the most appropriate. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm all about that. That sounds awesome. Cool. Um, all right, let's uh, let's do Stavril's XP. Cool. Um, I was trying to see what special ability I might take, but we'll just have to wait for that. <laughs> um, let me scroll down. Okay, so Something's happening with my roll 20, goodness. Um, okay, so we already counted the two from, you struggle with issues from your vice or traumas. Yeah. Yes, because of everything I just described. Yeah. I don't think I need to explain that again. Um, I think at the very end, I sort of synthesized my heritage and my background together in saying that like, I know the history of like communism and how it splinters and divides apart just like the beams of a ship and I am not going to like like it's within my nature to like we're not going to repeat the mistakes of the past because I'm mm -hmm. going to step up and be the leader here and I'm going mm -hmm. to make sure that we're not going to go down this path again because I'm tired mm -hmm. of repeating old patterns yeah, uh, and I think one from addressing a calculation with calculation, 
because um, I am looking up dirt about mm. slain. Yeah, definitely. Um, and like uh, through a pretty unconventional pathway, right? Like I yeah. wouldn't expect to go to a like academic library to do that kind of thing. So it's it's a cool angle. Uh, and I definitely wouldn't have mm. given like the information that you got, like that information wouldn't have existed unless you went down that path, right? Like, yeah, it yeah. would have been way more like straight level. But um, yeah, that's that's an interesting like actual tabloidy mm. style thing that you could write and and yeah, yeah. um mm. awesome okay cool so you got uh five for that like five yep. xp and yeah. i had three in my playbook yeah so i get to bump up and i might take leader as my special ability oh. since we have a cohort now nice uh leader what, what, is what, what, from which playbooks then cutter Cutter. Let's have a look. Um, so leader does when you command a cohort in combat, they continue to fight uh, when they would otherwise break. They're not taken um, oh, wow. out when they suffer uh, level three harm. They gain plus one effect and one armor. Interesting. Ooh. You're going to lead a, a small gang of children <laughs> in war. Hey, I, I don't. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna weigh into the morality of that. Uh, <laughs> but, but but we're a bunch of scoundrels. Yeah, yeah. You're. This feels yeah. Plates. Morality. Um, is we do what we must to survive. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Um, <laughs> that's awesome. Not really, the angle I'm going for. But yeah. Cool. Actually, I might go <laughs> for like another. I don't know. I find the way that we handle writing in this game a little bit awkward. So I might like figure out another ability about like synthesizing writing into being like it's one action or another or it tweaks how the actions work so that it's more explicitly about like yeah we're writing things yeah rather than we sure. are we are swaying the audience of our letter which is how this always goes in every blades game whenever <laughs> writing is involved so i want to make a special ability that just short cuts that because Stavro does do a lot of writing. Okay. If, um... Yeah, yeah I, because everyone in the group uh, is a writer, it might be worth mm -hmm. making that a crew um, special oh, yeah. ability, if yeah. you want to look yeah. into that. Because mm -hmm. um, that sounds good to me. Um, yeah, I, that's what I was thinking, too. Okay, cool. Um, awesome. Okay, well, then that is the end of episode three. Um, awesome. Good game. Uh, yeah, good good episode. That was fun. Um, I, I do not think we should um, say when our next session is going to be because that is a temperamental beast, but generally <laughs> speaking, we are aiming to make this game a fortnightly game, um, and we will see how that turns out <laughs> um uh do do folks want to take it from the top and go through uh shout outs and goodbyes so that sure. means that does again. begin with you i will swap yeah. us over to the party view here we go <laughs> all right so um i'm alex um i go by in social media other j jam or silvios one day i hope to reconcile the two but for now that's what it is um so usually you can find me at a lot of like community discords for a lot of um, gaming communities in, in the oceanic region. Um, I will be starting part-time streaming back up again soon, hopefully with a couple of playthroughs of Subnautica, which is great if you enjoy that game. Um, and in the meantime, I am working on my magical space human project, which is yet to be titled. That's why I keep referring to it as lengthy as it is. <laughs> um, and that's going to be an interactive novel, so that'll be very exciting. Awesome. I'm excited Hi. for that. Yeah. Brandon? Right. Hi, everyone. I'm Brandon. Uh, my pronouns are he, him, or they, them. I'm a poet, speculative fiction writer. Um, I'm working on a game right now called Sound Clash, um, which is a game about uh, standing up against evil music executives and trying to strike mm -hmm. out as a band where in a world where music has magical properties. Um, I'm also working on a lot of writing projects right now. Um, you can see some of my work upcoming in some uh, RPG books 
in fact, I will have some poetry and essays in uh, the, uh, the companion to the split book for uh, Dreamer Q and Dreamer Part. Um, I'll have some poetry in the anthology and drool book for John Silence. Um, That's and, exciting. Yeah. And I, I also have some uh, poetry coming up in uh, the upcoming year of Uncanny Magazine, uh, hmm. which is presently uh, hosting their Kickstarter right now. And I definitely, definitely encourage you to not only support them, but uh, I believe today their submissions window is open. So if you write short stories of a uh, fantasy or science fiction nature, you definitely should send them the thing because they're actually really rad. <laughs> Good to know. Thank hmm. you. Uh, <laughs> Yes, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was, that was the evilest grin you pulled off all session. <laughs> um, awesome. No, that, that's that's super exciting. Um, every single thing that you said is something mm -hmm. that I am actively excited for. So, mm -hmm. keen. Um, Lavender, I think you're next, usually. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Lavender. I'm they, them. I'm working on a game called Mortally Bankrupt. Uh, that should be out really, really soon. I am, like, it's affecting me very emotionally of, about how, like, I've just been working on this game, like, a lot for a very long time. Like, it's been, like, at mm. least a few hours every day for, like, the last two yeah. and a half years. Mm. And I'm just, like, my heart needs to both play this game and for it to be done and at least beta will be good i would like beta <laughs> beta please but in the process of that um i'm so excited for like what's going to happen in that game that game is like out of control yeah i uh i've caught some of the play tests for it and mm -hmm. That's t I I I definitely understand why that is weighing on you, because that mm -hmm. is that is a game, that that is. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's gonna be something that I don't really think I've seen anywhere else before, and it's it's pretty it, it's pretty fucked up, but it's also pretty like <laughs> awesome and exciting. I'm 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 very yeah. keen for for what I it's. I agree. Uh, and I do. I do think that we will be playing it here. Um, cool. I can't imagine why not. Yeah, yeah. Um, awesome. Melody. Mm -hmm. Hey, um, yeah, I'm Melody. Uh, you can find me online at various places, including my website, which has links to my games, my poetry, um, my uh, writing, all that kind of stuff, my photography. Um, you can find my safe for work photography and my not safe for work photography there. Um, and uh, my website is melodynova.com. Uh, and also keep an eye out. I'm helping a friend uh, put together and release a role playing game where you use embroidery to uh, tell a story about friendship. Yeah. Uh, called current working title is Threads. Uh, and if you want news about that or about other game stuff that I'm looking to create and promote and that kind of thing, then you should check out, um, I'm currently working name is Nurture Core. Um, there's a mailing list, um, uh, that I'm putting together uh, for the beginning. I'll just be le giving out news about threads, but what I want to do at the end of the day is like, uh, create stuff and help other and support other people to create things, whether that's in like a promotional capacity or publishing um and yeah I, like particularly stuff from the margins and stuff from australian creators because as much as i love all my overseas friends i get very sad when everyone's at gen con like mm. and i can't be so i want to help build like australia's kind of like role-playing design talking community yeah that's me <laughs> oh and magic space actually... girl on twitter <laughs> I actually saw the pictures of the embroidery that came out of that game, and it inspired me to look up embroidery on YouTube. And oh, it, cool! It's really cool. I that's awesome. I I have no craft supplies around, of course. But <laughs> I just like I know that there's like a 
a chain thing and mm-hmm. people can make flowers mm-hmm. out of embroidery and stuff. It's so, so yeah. cool. I have I've never, actually, I've never done it before oh, and it was, yeah, right. that was the first time I'd done it. It was amazing. When I moved cool. in here, um, I actually had an embroidered piece on the wall and it's fascinating because it oh, looks cool. like pixel art. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. Um, awesome. And I was like, so we were so inspired by that. So I was like, oh, I wonder how it's made. So it was really <laughs> fascinating to like see you do it. I was just like, oh, <laughs> it's, it's, very, it's a very good game. It was like super sweet and like intense because it was like a two person game and it's very good. <laughs> uh, oh, and if you want to find out more about that, also follow Craftastrophes on Twitter. Because Kate, that's her Twitter. She's the one making it. Awesome. I uh, I put a link to the Nurture Core mailing list in uh, uh, in Twitch chat. Um, Thank you. Because I definitely signed up to that within seconds of you posting it. <laughs> <laughs> um, <Excellent. laughs> uh, thank you, everyone. Um, my name is Ben Cherry. Uh, I am a uh, a Maltese Australian game designer. Um, I can actually talk about this publicly now. Um, I have very recently um, changed from being full-time employed to being uh, full-time freelancing. So uh, in the next few weeks, you'll be seeing some more of my games. Um, If you want to get a sneak peek of them now, uh, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description thing beneath this this video um or this stream i don't know um i'm 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 still figuring this stuff out folks um but you will also see a few more streams coming from me uh, on this channel uh, i don't know the specific games yet but uh there's gonna be quite a lot more like quite a few more because i'm gonna have that time on my hands and i'm very excited for that um you can find me I'm on social media sound clash. pardon i'm waiting for sound clash too, because Sound Clash is going to like, yeah, probably tap into a lot of my feelings about music and magic and stuff like that. And uh, I, even though I haven't read the game, I have to tell you, um, Brandon, that I actually have already started writing a hack. So, uh, <laughs> so um, I'm keen to see the game because it will help me in writing this hack. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, we'll, we can discuss that later. Um, but I will definitely be playing um, Sound Clash on this this channel at some point in time. Um, uh, awesome. Yeah, I, I just wanted to say thank you, everyone, for for coming. Thank you for uh, being in chat with us. Um, thank you for sitting through our ridiculous communist <laughs> sort of ghost teen drama. I, I don't know what we're playing, to be honest. I, it's I don't, very good. I don't really it is. know what this game is. Um, I'm glad you all got to once more be aroused by Brandon, because that's just what this game is now. Um, it's, that's just, this game is just. It's, uh, it's, 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 yeah, it's uh, kind of embarrassing. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, I'm not sure adults doing mature adult thing. <laughs> um, yeah, th- thank you for coming, and I look forward to seeing you all in chat next session whenever that happens to be and yeah follow all of these beautiful people yeah follow all these beautiful people to hear what they're doing um and follow me to find out when the next session is going to be and we (laughs) will see you all then love you all and goodbye bye bye